this is an orthokeratology case where the patient's worn lenses for about a year. And at this time, there's a little bit of undercorrection in one eye, and there's also concern that the reverse curve on the posterior topography doesn't look really well formed. Um, in this case, it's a uh, pretty low myopic case, around a doctor and a quarter, I think. So when we're not molding a whole lot of tissue, we're not going to really expect a very, very well-formed uh, reverse curve on the posterior topography. So I'm not too concerned about that. I believe the patient's seeing well and the lenses are comfortable and there's no issues with the ocular health. And those are probably the main three that uh, we want to address. If we have a topography that's a little bit less than ideally textbook, um, sometimes we're just not expecting it just because it's a lower myope. The lens does look a little bit loose in the periphery and it's possible the tightening up the lens could make the topography look a little bit better. I really don't know how much clinical improvement that would provide to the patient, um, but that's one possibility. I think also some of this is probably artifact. Um, if we look at the baseline topography, as we can see an area of a steepening here and in the left eye, everything looks just kind of wavy. So here we have the photo process views of these topographies, and we can see in the right eye up around here, and then in the left eye down around here, the patient's tear film is starting to break up. So um, I think that's causing some of the quant or qualitative appearance of the topography. Um, it's not real smooth because the patient's got drier eyes or, or maybe the topography is taking a little bit longer. Um, a drier eye can also affect how clean the treatment looks. Um, so I, would, I don't think it's a bad idea if you do observe this clinically to go ahead and start the patient on an artificial tear regimen um, non-preserved, and that may help uh, the topographies look better. It may help the patient feel a little bit better, too, in case eyes are irritated from time to time. But overall, I don't think we need to make any big changes. Go ahead and address the undercorrection by changing topo demand as needed. And um, even if the topographies stay similar to how they look, I think your patient will still be in great shape. So hopefully those thoughts are helpful. Best of luck with your patient. Thanks for watching.